Hello everyone, my name is Lisa Garcia and I am going to be doing my presentation with Alyssa today. We are going to be presenting the Family Environment Scale Cohesion Subscale. So why we chose this form of measurement? For Alyssa, her main career interest as an MFT is the rehabilitation of family relationships and environments. Um, she also believes that the FES is one of the potential measurements that she will use in her future career to identify underlying problems within family dynamics. She also believes that this is an interesting form of measurement as it is useful for understanding how family members perceive their family unit and how these behaviors can affect the family unit as a whole. I also found this form of measurement to be interesting as it looks at each, is, each person's individual perception of the family unit as a whole and aims to progress the family unit by looking at everyone's own perception of it. So what exactly is the, fire, the family environment scale? Uh, it is a self-report instrument that was developed in 1974 by Rudolf Moss. Um, and it is used to assess the social climates of the family unit. Uh, the FES has 90 items within the measurement, and it is compromised, compromised of 10 subscales uh, to access three underlying dimensions of the family environment. These three dimensions include family relationship index, personal growth, and family maintenance. So within the measurement, we have the cohesion subscale which basically looks into the um, support that each family member feels that they provide for one another. The items found within the scale are true or false, and it is usually administered in a quiet room with ample space. The FES's total raw scores range from zero, which is complete agreement among family members, to 90, which is complete disagreement within each family member. And the purpose of this scale is to highlight the level of dissimilarity and the level of similarity between family members as it regards to their current perception, their ideal preferences, and the expectations of the family's social environment. And on the right side of the PowerPoint presentation, we have some example statements for cohesion. Some of these include, I don't feel appreciated by my family. My family members are very supportive and I feel a lack of commitment between my family member, members and myself. Demographics. So the target population usually ranges from children as young as six years old to elder adults, 64 years old. Um, it is a measurement that usually is administered to families or individuals that take part in family situations with their immediate family members. It also focuses on the entirety, entirety of the family and ideally we would want to have each member, each family member take the assessment. Besides the non-specific populations, this measurement can also be administered to those with pediatric disorders. So the family units usually in the studies are um, families who have uh, who are dealing with mental illness and families that are also not dealing with mental illness are commonly seen. Most of the prevalent families that we see within these assessments are uh, usually families that deal with alcohol issues as they are the, the ones that are most prevalent. Um, we also see that recent studies are trying to include diverse family populations in terms of socioeconomical status and in culture. We also see that there is a change of non-traditional families um, we see more diverse family dynamics, uh, such as multi-generational families. Uh, these are now being considered as well. Hello, everyone. It's Alyssa Moreno, and I will be in charge of talking about the rest of the PowerPoint. So let's get right into it. 
In terms of reliability for the um, FES, we'll start with the internal consistency of a study of moves and moose. So internal consistency showed to be quite adequate for the cohesion subscale. As you can see as on our chart, their cron box alpha for the entire sample was 0.78, the highest that we will talk about so far. And then we're going to go on to say to notice Vienna, Silva, and Suiza for Magoni. The internal consistency of the cohesion subscale also showed some good results with the cron box alpha being higher than the Moos and Moos study at a 0.87. The lowest case that showed um, bad internal, or not bad, but not good internal consistency was Boyd, Goulon, and Needleman, and Bert, the adolescent study, with the Cronbox Alpha being 0.67. With respects to test-retest reliability, the FES shows excellent results. Intraclass correlation is equal to 0.86 in the Moose and Moose study. We're going to assume that the FES is fairly stable with those types of results. But with regard to the internal consistency of this scale as a whole, some of these differences observed may be due to cultural factors or other outliers. The FES seems to demonstrate adequate reliability, but further research should be conducted to confirm the level of reliability it actually holds and if it's stable enough to actually be considered true right now. Moving on to validity, we're going to talk about first in the study of Bella, Bella Dernelli et al. Criterion validity with respects to predictive and concurrent validity demonstrated, was demonstrated through families with bipolar children scoring higher in the cohesion subscale than families with no bipolar children. These In these circumstances, the results showed the extent to which the scores can be used to measure an individual's present standing on the measure as well as being able to predict the criterion measure. In this case, the criterion measure is cohesion or expressiveness between family members. With concern to content and face validity, the study of Galea in 2010 found it to be supported by the clear statements relating to the 10 domains. This demonstrates that the judgment of the test items are relevant to what is actually being measured and that it's representative of what is intended to be measured. In this case, it's measuring cohesion in terms of family environments. In the study of Feldman and Gehrig, interesting, interestingly, they found poor discriminant validity for the cohesion subscale. This hints that there is a st statistically insignificant relationship between test scores. With criterion and content validity being validated and construct not, this proves there are some challenges between how statistically significant results actually appear to be. As stated in the slides, Possible outliers can affect these results, and more extensive statistical analysis may be needed in this case. That brings us to our evaluation of the FES. The FES has its pros and cons like any measure would. For the pros, internal consistency of some of the subscales of the SES in terms of heterogeneity rate as well established. The FES has proven it has the ability to measure different family types at certain points in the life cycle. The cohesion subscale has demonstrated the ability to accurately measure the expressiveness between family members. Data has shown that the cohesive subscale also reflects effective family communication. As we move on to our cons, we must take these into great consideration because they do matter. The cohesion scale in particular does not take into account certain outliers that may influence family cohesiveness. 
These factors can include culture, socioeconomic status, and ethnicity. As we've seen in other studies on other measures, these outliers are really hard to find, and more extensive research should be done to pick and seek out these outliers in order to minimize as much of that misleading data as we possibly can. With that being said, the main disadvantage of this measure is the lack of representation in certain populations. These populations include those living in low ex socioeconomic status, those living with chronic illnesses, and those living with pediatric disabilities. As we have noted that we have seen more recent studies that are including those with pediatric disabilities and those with neuropsychological disabilities, but that is not enough and we need more research that includes these populations. The FES is a very important tool when assessing family environments and family dynamics, but it cannot yet be considered the perfect tool to assess family environments and family dynamics. Thank you all for listening to our presentation, and I hope you found it very interesting. I appreciate you guys taking your time to listen to us talk. Thank you so much, and again, I hope you enjoyed.